Hey YouTube, it's Arjun's Tech Help here, and as promised, I'm gonna make the video on how to chroma key with Sony Vegas Pro. Um, now, basically, if you don't know, chroma key is just a fancy term you, um, that means changing the background of a uh, green screen or blue screen footage. Um, now, this will be using Sony Vegas Pro 8. Um, now, I think you do need the Pro version for this, I'm not sure. But it will work on 7, 8, and 9 if you do have the Pro version. So I'm pretty sure it will, will work on Sony Vegas and uh, Movie Maker, or whatever you guys have that's uh, earlier than Pro. So you will need Pro, but it will work on seven version 7, 8, and 9. Uh, I'm not sure about before 7, but I seriously recommend upgrading if you are below 7. Okay? So the first thing you will need is some kind of footage shot with a green screen. Now, I do have a video out on my channel, so go click on my channel and uh, find the video that will show you how to make a really cheap green screen. It really is great, and that's how I make my green screen footage uh, with that really cheap green screen that I show in that video. Uh, so once you've shot some video of you in front of a green screen doing something like I have here imported into Sony Vegas, you will need to import it into Sony Vegas. So mine is not too long, it's only about 12 seconds, um, and that's fine. I just decided to do some random stuff in front of my green screen. Now, as you can see, there are not any other background, like the wall is just the green screen, and that's what you need. You can't have any other parts of the wall showing in the footage. You just must be in front of the green screen, and that is it. Um, you can have other stuff in front of the green screen, but you can't have anything but green behind you, or blue, of course. So this will work for a green screen and a blue screen. So once you have that footage of the green screen or blue screen behind you, you're ready to get into the editing. So in Sony Vegas, you want to go into the tab that says Video Effects, and you want to scroll down until you see Chroma here. It'll be in one of the categories. Just click on it once, and then you'll have five app options here. Blue screen, green screen, pure red screen, pure green screen, and pure blue screen. Now we can ignore these three, pure, um, all the pure ones, because it's not really needed. But the ones we want to focus on are the blue screen one and the green screen one. Now, if you have a blue screen behind you in the footage that you have imported into Sony Vegas, you're going to choose blue screen. In the footage, if you have a green screen behind you, you're going to choose green screen. Now, I have a green screen behind me, as you can see, so I'm going to choose green screen. Now, what you want to do once you have clicked on whichever one you have, me being green screen, you want to take that from the top and drag and drop it on the video event on the timeline. Not on the audio, not here, not there, right on the video track, uh, which is the one on top of the audio. So right there, and that'll pop up with this dialog. And if you noticed, where I have the preview box, my background is no longer green, it is now black. Now, if you're not having the similar black background, that means either A, uh, you need to play around with these settings a little bit in this dialog that pops up. I'm sorry, I don't want that to pop up there. See if I can get that out of there. All right. Which means you need to play around with these settings a little bit it's here, uh, right here, until you do get a black background. So just keep playing with it a little bit until you get a black background. Or after all of that playing around with these settings, you still do not have this kind of black uh, background behind you instead of the blue or green. Then what you did was wrong with the footage. Not what you did the steps. Don't worry, it's not the steps or the video. It's because the footage you shot with your green or blue screen was not well lit enough. So basically, try to put your green or blue screen um, on the opposite side of a window so the light from the window will be shining on the green screen because you need to have a really well-lit green or blue screen. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The chroma key here is not going to work. So if you still do not have this black background behind you uh, after playing around with these settings a little bit, then you need to do some new footage with um, a more well-lit green or blue screen behind you. I recommend using some um, a window on the opposite side so the light will be shining on you. Um, or you can just use some uh, desk lamps or whatever. Just make sure it's shining on you um, and the green screen. So once you have the black background, which you should if you did have a well-lit green screen and you play around with these settings a little bit, once you have this black screen behind you, you can close out of this video event, event effects uh, dialog and now all we need to do is insert the video or picture that we want to be behind us while we're talking or doing whatever we wa we're doing. Uh, I have a picture of the sky because this will work with a picture or a video behind you. I'm going to do a picture right now so I'm just going to go into project media and we'll find 
let's see. All right, we can just, uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And uh, now we can drag and drop the picture that I got for it. It's a sky uh, picture. And all we wanna do is drag and drop it underneath uh, where our green screen footage is. So underneath, not on top or not over, underneath. And now I'm just gonna stretch this out. And bam, as you can see, I have myself here. And I have a picture of the sky behind me. So if I just play it a little bit, I'm doing everything that I was doing with the green screen behind me. It may look a little bit choppy to you right now because I'm recording it uh, with a uh, screen recorder. But as you can see there, I have a picture of the sky behind me. Now, if you wanted a video behind you, for instance, uh, you can use a video as well. Um, I'm just going to use a media generator right now. So let's go to media generators. We'll go to noise texture. And I'm just going to do, uh, we'll do lava. And we'll bring that down. And now we can just make the progress a little bit so we can uh, see the video effect. Alright, so that, let's bring the progress up. You don't have to follow that, it's okay. That was just an example for a uh, video. And now if I play it, as you can see, there's a moving video behind me. And that would be the media generator that I picked. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to uh, follow anything that I just did uh, now because that was just finding a video and I decided to use one that's already in Sony Vegas that gives a cool effect. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome videos on all kinds of tech related stuff using computers, green screen, images, uh, maybe a little bit of iPod Touch and iPhone stuff. But if you really want the real deal of iPod Touch and iPhone, you need to go subscribe to my other channel. Uh, the link will be in the video description. Uh, make sure to subscribe to that channel as well as this channel. Really subscribe to this channel, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Also, rate this video five stars if it helped you. And if it didn't help you and you're issuing and you're having some kind of problem, leave a comment below. Or if this worked for you, just leave a comment below telling me that it did, and that'd be great, guys. Uh, thank you so much to all my fans out there. I will see you guys later.